Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And this video is all about the focus stacking that's coming as an extension for Luminar Neo. I've got the beta. I'm going to talk about what focus stacking is and I'm going to show you how it works. I've got it and we're going to walk through that right now. First, I want to talk about a couple of things. Focus stacking is coming. There is a Halloween special that just started on Luminar Neo. I'll put a link down below. It is an affiliate link. If you purchase off that, they pay me a referral fee. No extra cost to you, of course. And in fact, you can save money using my coupon code, GYMNEXNEO. Um, this uh, special has 20 presets and skies, all that kind of stuff. You can read about it down below. What I want to do is get into the gist of this and the meat, which is focus stacking. As far as extensions go, as you probably are aware, there's quite a few. There's two available already, HDR Merge and Noiseless AI. Working great. You've seen my videos about them in that playlist. And if you haven't, check them out. Upscale AI coming in November. AI background removal coming in November. Focus stacking coming in November. And I'm going to show it to you today. Super Sharp AI is the other one that they announced, which will de-blur and focus and give you crisp focus on images coming in November. And then one more that they haven't yet announced. Lots of cool stuff coming. But the first thing I want to do is answer the question, what is focus stacking? Because I've had that question once this was announced and people are saying, is this the same as HDR? And the answer is no, it is different than HDR. HDR is about light, right? Focus stacking as the name implies, is about focus. HDR, you take the same focus point at different exposure levels and you blend those images together in order to balance out the light. It is about high dynamic range, which is light, getting a better dynamic range across the entire image. Focus stacking is you uh, basically take multiple images with different focal points, and that's because you can't always get everything in focus. And so if you shift your focal point in different images, you're able to blend those and get a crisp, sharp image front to back. And so that's the goal. Images that are tack sharp from front to back, which gives you basically greater depth of field. It's really popular in landscapes where maybe you've seen it where like there's a foreground element that's super crisp, but then the foreground, excuse me, the midground is super crisp, and then the background is also super crisp and sharp. That's often really hard to do in a single image, but with a focus stack, you can focus on the foreground. Let's say it's a flower or a group of flowers. Take a photo, then you can take one on the midground. Maybe there's a field or something. Get that in focus, and then you can get a photo of the background, and that's in focus. Now, to be clear, you're not moving the lens and all that kind of stuff. You just keep the everything set. You just change the focal point and take different images, blend them together, as it says here, two or more images with different focal points, stick them together. This will actually take up to 100 images. Um, I, I haven't done that, um, but maybe uh, maybe someday I will. In macro images, maybe you've seen really beautifully crisp and sharp images of, uh, let's say, bugs that are super close up. That is going to be a whole lot of images because you're shooting so close up, you probably get a really thin focal plane on each image. So that could be maybe 100 images to get a really sharp image of a bug, for example. It does automatically align based on a reference photo. And lens correction and chromatic aberration is automatic on raw files. Here's a couple of ads just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Left is the foreground, crisp, sharp of those flowers. The right image is the background. And then the blended image is the one in the center where you get the best of both worlds. Same idea here, right? Polar bear, nice and crisp and sharp. Secondly, you take a photo of the background, nice and crisp and sharp. Stick them together and get focus stacked uh, clear focus all the way through. And as I said, it's often done on kind of macro photography. So let me pop into Luminar and show you. Um, they sent me a few reference images, but I went ahead and just took my own. So I'm just going to show that as an example. And these are just some camera. I literally just stuck some stuff on a table in another room of my house. And actually, before I jump into that, let me show you these because what I did is on this one, I started out by focusing on this Kodak Duoflex camera. Um, everything else is not quite as sharp, even though this is at f13. That's the challenge. Things that are closer to the camera may or may not be in focus depending on how you focus. So you can't necessarily just say, hey, f22 and everything's in focus and it's perfect. So f13 on that, focused on that Kodak. The next image, kept it at f13, focused on that back, uh, that camera in the far back. Next image, focus on where it says World Atlas. Fourth image, focused on that camera in the upper left, the video camera. And then the last image, focused on the Nikon here that's 
not quite in the foreground, but kind of in the mid-ground. So that's what I did, five different images. They're all raw files. Let me go ahead and grab them. And what you do is just like HDR Merge, you drag it over here and start stacking them. Now, you can come in and hover if you want and click on an X and get rid of one of these five images. You can scroll through like that. And you also can select your reference point. My, uh, it does auto align, as you can see. Chromatic Aberration is on, and the reference image is image three. That's fine with me. I'm gonna go ahead and click Stack, and you gotta give it a minute. It's gonna go through and pick the best focal parts of the five images and blend them together in a single focused image. Let me show you that. Okay, and then what happens is this Focus Stacking folder is created, and I've got my Focus Stacked image. So much like HDR Merge, where it has an HDR Merge folder that it creates for these images, it's also got a focus stacking folder. I'm now gonna click on Edit and bring this image up here, and we're just gonna zoom in and take a look at it and see that it's all in focus. So if you remember, I focused here in one image and uh, nice and crisp. I focused on this camera in a second image, nice and crisp, and you can see some reflection of a room in my house. I focused on this book in another image, nice and crisp. I focused on this camera in the back on a different image, nice and crisp and of course i also took an image that was focused here on the nikon and that's super crisp so that's what focus stacking does allows you to get basically perfect focus throughout your image by taking these different images combining them all and using the ai or whatever it is the intelligence and the software to stick them all together and give you a perfectly blended image now i haven't historically shot a lot of these but i'm about to go to iceland on the luminar photo camp and I'm gonna be taking a lot of these. So I'll come back and I'll do more tutorials about these, but that's the gist of it. Combine those images and you end up with a perfectly focused image front to back. And I just think that looks great. Now I need to go in and edit and do that kind of stuff, but this is just a test image. Just wanted to show you how it works. Hope that gives you some idea of what focus stacking is and how you can use it to your advantage when you're out shooting. Thanks for watching my friends. I'll be back soon and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, adios.